Hey everyone, hello and welcome to my channel, Your Physics Mate. Well, today I am back with another video where we will discuss about some problems related to transistor and uh, of course this will be helpful for any kind of competitive examinations like gate, jam uh, or any kind of other uh, BSc or MSc entrance examinations. And if you find today's video helpful, then please don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel and please like my video and share this video with your friends. And uh, okay, without further delay, let's get started. Hey everyone, hello and welcome to my channel, Your Physics Mate. Well, from the introduction, you got to know that our today's video is going to be on some problems about transistor. So the first problem is given here problem number one a transistor circuit in common emitter configuration is shown in the figure with given parameters the value of collector current is okay so in the figure you can see that a particular transistor is given in common emitter configuration the value of IE that is emitter current is given which is 12 milliampere you can see from here and beta that is transistor beta or current amplification ratio is given 49 and uh, we have four values of collector current that is IC and we need to determine this one this IC and the four options are 10.8 11.52, 11 11.76, 11 11.88 all are in milliamperes. Okay. So, we need to find the correct answer from the following. So, how can we uh, deal with such problems? First of all, to deal this kind of problems, we need to have a basic knowledge about transistor. That is, the transistor currents have three parts. One of them is base current which is called IB, one of them is emitter current which is called IE and one of them is called collector current which is called IC. Now this leg is basically called base, this leg is basically called emitter and this leg is basically called collector. So from the transistor configuration for a transistor always emitter current IE equals to the sum of the two other currents that is IB plus IC right from the figure you can also check out that IB and IC adding these two currents we can find the value of IE okay so in this problem it is given that beta is equal to 49. So, what is beta? Transistor beta basically is a current amplification factor. It is given by the value of the ratio of basically IC and IB that is IC by IB is called beta. Sometimes it also called beta DC. Anyways, so beta is equal to IC by IB that is the ratio of the collector current and the base current. So, here we already have a value of IE that is 12 milliampere and we need to find the value of collector current. What is the collector current? That is IC. We need to find the value of IC. So, we have a equation. Suppose this is equation number 1. And we need to put the value and we also have the value of beta that is given in the question which is here given here 49 right. So beta dc or beta is equal to 49. If we put this value here in equation number 1 what will you have ie is equal to ib plus in place of ic we can write ib into beta that is IB beta right IB into beta so yeah IE is equal to IB plus IB into beta so we can take a common of IB so IB is equal to I 
sorry ie is equal to ib into 1 plus beta we have the value of beta that is 49 here right and we need to determine the value of ic so if you want to determine the value of ic first of all you need to find the value of ib and then from this equation that is beta is equal to ic by ib from this equation you can find the value of ic that is the collector current okay so uh, let us put the values here that is ie given ie is 12 milliampere given so in place of ie we are putting a 12 is equal to ib into 1 plus beta that is 1 plus 49 is equal to 50 right so ib is equal to 12 by 50 and we need to determine the value of ic that is collector current so how can we find that from this equation beta is equal to ic by ib so ic is equal to beta into ib we already have found the value of ib that is 12 by 50 so beta is 49 into 12 divided by 50 okay so we need to find the answer and and this value is 49 into 12 divided by 50 gives a value of 11.76 milli ampere. So, let us check out the options. This option was from the option C that is 11.76 milli ampere. Okay. So, this kind of problems can be solved in this way. Okay. So, yeah, this was a very easy problem I think. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Consider the following circuit in which the current gained beta DC. I already have said it in the previous uh, problem that sometimes beta is also called beta DC because it is given in a DC circuit. Okay, as the supply voltage is in direct current format. So, okay, consider the following circuit in which the current gain is beta DC of the transistor is 100 that is given that beta dc is equal to 100 okay uh, vbe now what is vbe basically uh, from the previous configuration here also if we uh, just uh, okay from this figure we can just uh, particularly give these points basically to point out them right so this leg is called the collector leg this leg is called the base and this one is called the emitter we already have done it before in this previous picture also so the same way we are just pointing out the legs Okay, this one is the power supply. This is sometimes called VCC as this supply leg is connected to the collector leg. So, this is sometimes called VCC. So, this is the power supply voltage. Okay, uh, so this one is the collector leg. This one is the base and this one is the emitter. So, the current in this leg or current, current flowing through this leg is called IB. Current flowing through this leg is called IC and okay here we have this two currents basically that is IB, IC okay and the voltage drop in this two terminals that is B and E. The voltage drop between these two terminals that is base and emitter is called VBE okay and the voltage drop between this terminal c and e that is the collector and the emitter is called vce okay so the voltage between the two terminals which are the collector and emitter is called vce and the voltage between the two terminals base and emitter is called vbe 
and in question it is given that VBE is equal to 0.7 volt. So VBE is given that is 0 0.7 volt and we need to find the value of VCE and IC. IC is the collector current and collector emitter voltage is VCE that is we need to find the value of IC and VCE. These two values are to be determined in this question. Okay. So, okay. Let's get started and solve this question. Okay. So, in this kind of question, we need to apply the Karshaw's voltage law that is KVL. So, before applying KVL, we need to go through the question once and you can see that here we have basically two lines. One of the lines are this one and the other lines, the other line is this one, right? That is current can flow through this circuit from this line. And current can grow, go through this line to the ground. Okay, from the supply to the ground, current can go, go through two lines. Suppose this is the line number 1 and this is the line number 2. So, we can apply KVL in this both lines separately. Suppose for the line number 1, the KVL can, can be applied in that way that VCC or the supply voltage this one is the supply voltage VCC. This VCC has a potential just gives a potential drop between this resistance and this base emitter voltage. And here in this line, in this line there is no any other sources to just uh, you know. Uh, to just dissipate the power ok. So, here 20 volt is the basic VCC ok. So, VCC is equal to this one is IB the current in this terminal is called IB that is base current. So, IB into 100 kilo ohm which is the resistance of this terminal or sometimes called a base resistance. This is 100 kilo ohm that is 100 into 10 to the power 3 ohm. So, VCC is equal to IB into 100 into 10 cube plus PBE right. This is the KVL for line number 1. So, if you solve this problem you can find that in place of VCC we can write give 20 volt ok. IB we do not know what is IB. So, we are just putting IB here into 10 to the power 5 plus VBE, VBE is 0 0.7 volt. So, from here we can write that IB is equal to 20 minus 0 0.7 divided by 10 to the power 5 ok. So, this one is IB and, and now I C by IB is called beta. We already have known it from the previous problem. So, IC is equal to beta into IB. Beta is given in the question. What is beta? Beta is 100. So, beta DC of the transistor is 100. So, we are putting a 100 in place of beta into in place of IB we can write 20 minus 0.7. That is 19.3 divided by 10 to the power 5. That is 19.3 milli ampere. Okay. So, IC is equal to 19.3 milli ampere. One of the answer already have determined by us. That is the collector current. We already got the amount of collector current. That is IC which is 19.3 milliampere. Now, we need to find the value of VCE that is the collector emitter voltage. So, the collector emitter voltage is situated in the second arm that is arm number 2. 
or the line number 2. So, for the line number 2, the equation if we apply KVL, the equation will become 20 volt is equal to the voltage drop against 0 0.3 kilo ohm plus the potential drop between C and E that is VCE. So, if the current just going through this arm is IC that is the collector current then 20 volt will be equal to 0 0.3 kilo ohm into IC plus VC. So, we are just putting it here. So, for the second uh, formula or the applying KVL for the second loop or loop number 2, we can find 20 volt equal to 0 0.3 kilo ohm that is 0 0.3 into 10 to the power 3 into IC plus VCE. We need to val find the value of VCE. So, we already have found the value of IC that is 19.3 milli ampere. So, we are putting it here 20 is equal to 0 0.3 into 10 to the power 3 into 19.3 milli ampere that is 19.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus VCE. Okay. So, VCE is equal to 20 minus this one, this one cancels out. So, 20 minus 0 0.3 into 19.3 and this gives a value of 5.79 and 20 minus 5.79 gives a value of 14.21 volt okay so the value of vce will be 14.21 volt okay so the two answers we already have determined that is the collector current which we uh, needed to determine from the question that is the value of collector current ic and the collector emitter voltage VCE. We got it. In the similar manner, we also can found the value of Q point for any type, this type of configuration. That is Q point. How can we find Q point? Q point is basically equal to VCE IC. That is the transistor output characteristics. VCE IC. If we find these two values, then we can just find the value of Q point. Okay. So yeah, uh, if you find today's video helpful, then please like this video, share this video with your friends. And if you want more such videos or more uh, problems from transistor, or if you want to have a video on uh, Q point load line or anything like that, you can write it in the comment section below. I will definitely uh, go through it and uh, give one more video according to your need. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I am just uh, just not uh, doing any more examples. Uh, otherwise, this video will be so much elongated and you guys will not at, uh, not at all like to watch it if the duration is too long. So yeah, my today's video is just with two problems. But if you are enjoying this kind of videos, please uh, write it in the comment section. I will come with more problems about transistor or according to uh, gate IIT jam syllabus. Okay. So yeah, thanks.